Hello. Gina Greenlee here at GinaGreenlee.com and this is Inspiration Daily for October 17, 2021. So I had an adventure. I'm inspired by daily adventures. What does that mean? That means, for example, when you, when I go to my day job, well, not this day job because it's literally right across the street from my house, <laughs> but there were times, you know, years ago when, you know, I had a 30, 40 minute commute or even a 10 minute commute through a city and I would take a different route. I would, it, it may not have been the shortest distance between two points, but that wasn't the point. You know, the point was, you know, I just, same old, same old is not inspiring. So something different and then you, you look and you make a discovery and you're like, oh, I didn't know that was there. And I discovered all kinds of things that way, whether it was a new store or a museum or an arts organization or something I didn't know, which was yesterday's inspiration, October 16th. So I live in South Florida and uh, I moved here 13 years ago, and the I live around the corner from one of the trailheads of a Rails to Trails, and I'll put information in the space below the, uh, tra you know, I'll put a, I'll, I'll create a transcript in the space below the video, uh, Rails to Trails taking old uh, railroads that are now uh, not in use and turning the railroad ties into uh, walking trails into linear parks and I've lived in many different parts of the United States and there's always been a rails to trails in uh, in every place that I've lived actually or just about every place that I've lived and so I was and usually I would have to drive to a trailhead to use one of these rails to trails but I don't have to do that in South Florida because I live near the, the legacy trail which um, the county has been expanding and so I went for you know my usual morning walk and I had noticed over the last several months that, that they were expanding the trail but you know it was it was always closed no trespassing sign so obviously I didn't go on it and this morning I started walking I was like oh it's open let's see how far it goes and I kept walking <laughs> four miles later I was like ooh because they have signs I, was, I said well I better stop because I gotta walk back which puts me at eight miles so it was a nice long walk it was three hours and uh I was very excited because it was it was all so new. It was interesting to see what was around and what was currently being built. So uh, that that was my inspiration. T taking a daily adventure. Um, I ride a, a scooter full time. It's 120 miles an hour Suzuki 650. Um, so you know that's one way to adventure. Another way to adventure is to get on a plane and, and go places. I, I did a lot of that in my life. I don't feel like doing that anymore. Any place I wanted to see, I already saw. So I'm really into micro adventures. What can I do? What are the opportunities every day to to have an adventure? And that could and that literally has been. Uh, things like you know I, I got tired of going to Trader Joe's I like Trader Joe's but it was too far and I ride a motorbike and you know if it rains it's like a drag <laughs> so I started so there's a supermarket across the street from my house and I said well let's see what's let's really go and dig into these aisles and see if I can find some of the treats that I typically get at Trader Joe's in these aisles and so that's that's another example of a micro adventure so today's micro adventure was um, experiencing the extension of the of the uh, Sarasota County rails to trails called the legacy trail here and it goes from um, a suburb south of of downtown where i live to downtown which is five and a half miles i i you know i'm not up for an 11 11 uh, mile round trip walk just yet um the, the nearly eight miles i did was plenty <laughs> 
um, you know, particularly when you were expecting it. I mean, I, I mean, I can walk eight miles or ten miles, but you know, I have to really, you know, I need to pack snacks and, and something to drink. So, which I didn't have. So it was kind of like, you know, the last couple of miles, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get home. But it was a great adventure. It was really exciting. It was like, oh, you know, it gives me all kinds of opportunities for roots, and it, and it really, it just. It just uh, catalyzes more more inspiration. So that's it, and I'll put information about the, the Rails to Trails program across the United States um, in the transcript. Take.